Well, hello. I've been wanting to show you a um, uh, design of a set of, of some tubes that I've been working on and pondering over for some time. Um, this is uh, based on the Stanley Myers um, tubes. Pretty much 25 mil is the outside tube and 19 is the inside tube, or one inch and three quarters to the Americans. Um, I've had end caps machined like this. I'll see if I can move it closer to the camera. It's countersunk inside to hold the smaller tube at exactly the right space, and holes around the outside have been drilled to as, a, as hydrogen vent holes. So I'm going to take you through the assembly process. I hope, um, and I'm hoping that this design makes the whole tube assembly a lot easier and also um, makes the tube more serviceable in the long run. <coughs> um, I've already attached the cathode to the inside tube, as you can see up here, and I've already attached the anode rod here to the outside tube using the stainless steel strapping. Everything inside the um, electrolyzer water vessel is pure 316 grade stainless steel, and with the end caps like they are, the 19mm the fits snugly into the inside and the outside one. Like this fits quite nicely. So you end up with a tube like that where you capped it, which is capped at both ends. And the cap is responsible for the, ca the cavity, which is 1.57mm. These have been accurately machined uh, on the lathe. So for assembly purposes, we just simply drop each tube into the place. In cap spaces, as you can see. <coughs> no worries about the space in the cavity. That's all taken care of. Okay. Now I've acquired some high pressure PVC pipe for the outside of the tube, for the canister. You simply fit the end plate, just lining up This is a bit of a fiddly job and probably is taking up way too much video time here. I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. I'll stop the video and I'll, I'll line it up. Okay, here we are back again. It's just taken me a few minutes to put on the uh, end cap, and <coughs> I've bolted on, put all the nuts on the bottom on the cathodes, which hold the, the PVC plastic disc to the bottom of the tubes, which has been manufactured to fit exactly in the high pressure uh, end cap bottom. Okay, now that's just basically a joiner which I'm using to create a bottom spacer. Now the hook has been it's offset on the disc to allow for clearance of the, of the, cl of the clips and clamps. Drop that in there like that. And we push on our, our pressure pipe. And that's where we have it at this stage. All we need to do, we can... There we go. Underneath. You can see, you can see all the connections, and I'll show you some more video a bit later when I, when I uh, make up all the connectors and put the wiring, we'll put a nice plug on the outside here, and then we'll put the uh, end cap on there and finally fit the, the uh, outlet valve and the pressure gauge. Okay, let's see how we go.